Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, let's see how to use alternative work centers in Odo 14 manufacturing. So using an alternative work center increases the efficiency of your manufacturing company. Most In most of the companies, several products are usually produced at the same work centers. So sometimes the work center becomes so busy and it becomes difficult to process goods. So to manufacture goods at another work center is not a simple task. So uh, from your manufacturing configuration settings, Okay, so from uh, here, from settings, you can enable the work orders so that you can uh, configure work centers, that is create and configure work centers and create uh, work orders to process operations at specific work centers. Okay, so it's already enabled. Mm, okay, after enabling this, let's come back to overview. So here you can see uh, different work centers, configured work centers like assembly line one, drill station one, you can see assembly line two. Okay, so if you want to create new work centers, just come under the configuration and here you can see work centers. Okay, so you can create new work center from here. So let me open one already created work center that is assembly line one. So you can see the work center name is assembly line one. And uh, here I have provided an alternative work center assembly line two. So uh, when this work center is busy with uh, processing some work orders, you can use this assembly line two work center. So uh, in Odo, it is possible to keep track of uh, keep track of which work center has been uh, used, and uh, this can be done by keep tracking manufacturing orders. So your employees have an alternative work centers to use. Uh, so for this assembly line one, I have set the capacity as one. So at a time, only one can be processed. Okay, that is one unit only can be processed at a time for this work center. Now let's save this. And for assembly line two, I have also set alternative work center, uh, which is assembly line one. Okay. Now, after configuring the work centers, we can create bill of materials for products, so which is used for uh, creating manufacturing orders. Uh, so you can see, I already have some bill of materials created for products. So when I open tabletop, you can see here, product quantity one, then components is added, uh, components are added, then here you can see two operations are added for this bill of materials. One is manual assembly, and you can see the work center uh, in which it is planned to get processed. You can see this assembly line one, and you can see another operation finishing, uh, which needs to be processed in the work center drill stations two. And if you want to add more operation, you can click on add line and add operations. Okay. So now let's create a manufacturing order for this product. So before creating manufacturing order, let's change the capacity. Okay, from overview, let's change the capacity of assembly line to work center. So here the capacity is one. Now I'm updating to 10 so that 10 units uh, can be processed in this work center at a time. Okay, let's save this and create a manufacturing order for the product tabletop. Okay, so you can view the components and work orders that we have set inside the bill of material. So you can see the first operation manual assembly is to be processed in the work center assembly line one. Uh, but this work center only have a capacity one that is at a time only one unit can be processed. So, first let me confirm this manufacturing order and plan. Okay, okay, so you can see for one quantity of this tabletop, we have confirmed the manufacturing order and planned the order. Now, uh, let's create another manufacturing order. 
So if another order came for the product tabletop, and okay, let's confirm the order. So after confirming the manufacturing order, if you plan the order, you can see here, the work center is updated to assembly line two. This is because uh, we cannot process more products in work assembly line one. So the work center is changed to the automated work center of assembly line one, that is assembly line two, which we have set inside the uh, work center configuration. So now we can start processing the operation. Okay. And we can also process the previous order. So that's how we, in the case of alternative work sender, to improve the efficiency of uh, manufacturing products. That is, we can effectively utilize work centers to manufacture products. And we can also set another work center that is alternative work center for this assembly line two. Uh, we can change it to drill station one or drill station two. If this work center gets busy, okay. So that's all in this video. And if you have any doubts related to this alternative work centers or uh, work centers in Odo 14 manufacturing, please add your comments below. And we have done a separate video on how to configure work centers in Odo 14 manufacturing. So please uh, go to that video. And if you require any customization in manufacturing or other modules, uh, drop your request to odo at